Holly. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're going to be decorating the living room and then I have a fun little fall DIY project that we're going to do. And then also stay tuned at the end of this video because we're going to be doing like a fun little giveaway. I'm going to have two giveaway winners. So stick around to see what that's all about. So we have cleared the bookshelves. We have cleared the mantle, cleared the coffee table, the couches, and I'm going to show you all the mess that we have. And baby Kaysen is on his nap time right now. So we're gonna try to get all this done before he wakes up. All seen already up on the TV. And then we have stuff everywhere. We have the garlands and all the things that we're gonna be hopefully using. And then if you saw my last week's video, then you already saw us styling the foyer. And I have all the things for the bookshelves sat over here. And then we also did like a fall clean out. Let me show you that. So this is the stuff that I decided to go ahead and sell. I've just had it for years now and just kind of out with the old and with the new. So my friend Mary, who actually has a booth at Rusty Relics, I've talked to y'all about this before. She has actually been buying like all my stuff. We've been doing like bundle deals and it's been so much easier. I usually sell on Facebook Marketplace and all my local friends will usually buy from me individually, but it's just been so nice with her having the booth because I can just give her a bundle price and she's been getting it and going to put it in her booth and then you can go shop her booth if you're local or if you come into our small town to shop. Definitely go check it out and you can kind of see some of my stuff that we've had. In the past in her booths, um, we've been doing that with my mom's stuff, my sister's stuff, my stuff. It's been so easy and convenient for us and easy for her because she doesn't have to go out and shop for things to put in her booth. So it's win-win. So this is all the stuff that I decided to part with this year. And like I said, out with the old and with the new. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it. Come now that we have the shelves cleaned off, so this is what we're starting with. So y'all know that I put these books up around the summertime, and I really liked how they looked down here, so I just kept them. And then this little spot has pretty much stayed the same ever since we moved in because I like having the diffuser right here. I just feel like it's the best place for it. So we're gonna keep this like it is. I didn't move anything off. Let's go ahead and get this going though with a good fall scent so we can have the house smelling good as we're working on decorating. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden, I'll follow only golden. So what I usually do is start on this shelf first and work my way down and then start on this shelf and work myself down. But I think that what we'll do is start at the top on each side and work our, work our way down on both of them. That way you can kind of see how I work things and balance them out. Now also I want to let y'all know that I have already decorated these shelves and then took it all down. It just is so much easier for me to do that. I know a lot of other people kind of decorate with you as they're actually doing it. But for me, I find it easier to go ahead and get everything styled because this takes me hours and days to like tweak it and get it just like I like it. And so this is going to look like it's thrown together super fast and you're going to think that I'm super quick at doing this and I am not. So I wanted to give that little disclaimer. Golden, I'll follow you. Bye. 
So y'all let me know in the comments down below. I already had these pillows, so I just used these to style our couches. But in my Amazon cart, I have some like brown pillow covers in there. And I'm thinking about getting those. I was going to do like kind of like a brown velvet plaid vibe. But let me know what y'all think. Should I just keep these or should I try something different? years ago and I actually did a YouTube video on how we made these. Um, I'll try to link it down below. I need to do an updated version of one though, but I wanted a big candle for a coffee table. So I found this one at Hobby Lobby and it was half off and I want to start looking for more vessels to make candles in like big candles. I've made a few little ones, but I'm really excited to find different things like at antique stores, thrift stores to make candles in. Uh, last year we made this one if y'all remember, this was an orange pumpkin I got at the thrift store for like two or three dollars, and then I used a spray paint. So check out my decorate with me videos from fall last year, and you'll see that one. Anyway, so you need a hot glue gun. I got these off of Amazon. I used a wooden wick, but I really don't like wooden wicks. They don't seem to burn that great, even though I feel like they're a little bit more safe. So try to get the most safest um, of the little string ones that you can. And then also you can use a pot, but this is much easier. These on Amazon are like $10. And you can see I already left the wax in there from the last time I made it. If you use a pot and do like the boiler system, it just makes a big mess and you have to clean all the wax up out of your pots and bowls. And so I highly recommend getting one of these. All you have to do is melt the wax and then you just set it aside, let it cool, and then you can put it back up in storage. So this is a lot easier as far as clean up. So I highly recommend investing in one of these if you're wanting to make some. This is a great thing to do for like a little fall DIY with like friends, family, or your kids. And so love this. So I'm gonna show y'all how to make these. And then also we got from Hobby Lobby, make sure to get soy wax. And these were $12.99 and on sale. So I went ahead and grabbed two. And honestly, I don't burn these every day. I use my diffusers a lot more because the fragrance that the diffusers put off is just so strong. Like whenever I use them and people walk into my home, I can just have one going like this one right here. I can just have that one going and it smells up like the whole living area. And I'll get compliments every time somebody comes into our home. So this is just more for the like ambiance because I love the candles, the flickering of the candles. I use those LED ones, but um, every once in a while I like to just light a good candle. And so that's why we're making these. And then these are the oils that I'm going to use. Cassia is a form of like a cinnamon. Um, and it, I love the way that this smells more than the cinnamon bark that Young Lovin' has. So we're going to use the Cassia. And then I'm going to use tangerine because these two together smell so good. I'll also tell y'all real quick that if you're 
like intimidated on how to make up different candle scents and all like i went in my video that i'm going to put in the description box we went into bath and body works and shared all the candles that they had out and all you have to do is go into pinterest and type in like marshmallow fireside diffuser blends and it will pull up like which oils from young living's line to use and how many drops to use to make it up. I will say double or triple the amount of drops though if you're really wanting your candle to smell really good. But like I said, I have my diffusers going every day and so I'm really not gonna use that many drops. I'm probably just gonna use maybe five or, five or 10 drops each. It's really not gonna put, up, put off that big of a smell. So if you're wanting more of a smell with these candles and definitely add more drops. But if you have your diffusers and like your diffusers better like I do, um, because most of mine act as a humidifier as well, that's just me personally though, what I like to do. So we're about to make those up. And then also for the giveaway, um, the Essential Book by Hello Essentials, they actually sent me two books back months ago and I wanted to do a giveaway with them and so, I thought this would be the perfect time. Let me show you. So we're gonna try to go through this pretty fast because he's asleep and he's gonna be waking up any minute. So if you want like more in details of why I use essential oils and why I don't burn candles anymore, um, just real quick, you can Google are candles bad for you? Like side effects of candles, it's bad for upper respiratory. Like if you have asthma, they are hormone disruptors. Um, they're they don't help your allergies at all. There's just so many things that burning like candles and synthetic fragrances that it's linked to as far as health problems. And so that's why we chose years ago to switch over to Young Living Essential Oils. So they're still fragrant, but they're not man-made, like made in a lab fragrances. It's like they're sourced from like plants and God's creation. And so even Young Living, they don't use like chemicals or anything like that to treat their plants. So it is like all natural. It's like the best of the best. Um, if you've been with me for a while, then y'all know this whole spiel. A lot of y'all have invested in and switched over with me to the Young Living Essential Oils. And so it's totally different than like going to like your local Walmart, Target, wherever and getting essential oils. Cause that's the same thing as like you burning the candles. That's all just synthetic fragrances, um, lab made, man made, and these oils smell so much better. Like they are so strong, you only need a few drops. So this is the giveaway, it's not just this book. So look, they match my nails. So this book has all the information. So whether you have already um, did the ditch and switch with me, ditched all your like household cleaners and like seriously, we have switched everything. So all your household cleaners, your like Bath and Body Works products, your candles, your wall plug-ins. So this is gonna show you like how to do it. We take vitamins from Young Living, like you can go in hard or just ease into it. But this is the book that is gonna like totally blow your mind. And I love all the little graphics that they have. Like it's really gonna teach you all about Young Living and the oils and the ditch and switch method. It has so much information in here. So you can actually get like a starter kit with Young Living um, with a diffuser and oils. There's so many different starter kits out there that you can get now. So if you're interested in any of this, please email me. I'll link my email down below, but it's just simply like in lace at yahoo.com. If you don't end up winning this book, I will link this book down below if you're interested in purchasing it. There's a big one, a mini version, and then also I can email you a link where you can just open up your email and click it and it will have lots of information, whether you're wanting to know about oils or the thieves cleaner. I have lots of information. I can just email you and you can click it and read through it. And there's pretty pictures and graphics, it makes it really easy. So if you're interested in any of that, please email me. I would love to help you. I've helped so many families get their home healthier and safer and I love doing it. I've been doing this for years now, like I said. And so this book is gonna be part of the giveaway so you can learn all about them. What you're gonna do is you're going to comment down below. You're going to, let's see, let's do a pumpkin emoji. So comment, all you have to do is comment a pumpkin emoji and you'll be entered into the giveaway. And if you win, I'll give this video a couple of weeks and then I will go through and pick um, two winners and you can be entered in to win this book. And then also, a bottle of the Thieves Cleaner that I've been using. This is what I use to clean every surface of my house with glass, my countertops. I have quartz countertops and I clean it. I use it to clean my toilets, my floors, like everything. And so I will send you a bottle of this and you dilute this also. So let me show you this real quick. So this is a bottle that I got off of Amazon. You can get it in the 
clear glass or the amber glass. And then I got this cute little label. There's so many cute labels on Etsy that you can get, but this is the one that I chose. And it says pumpkin spice scent. And so the thieves already is like made up of clove, rosemary, cinnamon bark, lemon, and eucalyptus. And so it already is like a fallish scent, but what I do is I add in a few drops of this cassia oil and this tangerine, and it gives it like a more pumpkin spice scent. And so that's what I do with this. And then I change, I change the scent of this up through each season. And then I put it on my kitchen to display, which you'll see in my kitchen video. But what you do is, if you win this or if you don't win it and you're interested in purchasing this or this book, I will link these down below. Be sure to use my link because you'll get a discount code with this. So you just take one cap full of this cleaner, put it in here and fill the rest up with water. And so this makes between 25 to 30 16 ounce bottles. So this bottle is like around $25. And because you just use one cap full, with water it makes this like less than two dollars <laughs> so it is definitely buyer friendly so don't let this 25 dollar bottle freak you out and think that you just use this to clean with because you don't you're going to use a cap full into the 16 ounce bottle fill the rest up with water and that's what you're going to use to clean all your surfaces with all you have to do is comment down below a pumpkin and you'll be entered into win and i will send you one of these book two winners i will send you one of these books and the thieves cleaner so I thought that that would be a fun little giveaway since we were going to be making this candle and we haven't done a giveaway on my channel in a while. Also, real quick, let me know in the comments down below if you have switched over to like the Young Love and Essential Oils and the Thieves Cleaner. Let people know in the comments down below how much that you love it and enjoy it because I know a lot of you that watch my channel have switched to that and y'all tell me all the time how glad that y'all are that y'all switched to it. You can tell a big difference in your family's health and just the aroma of your home from a cleaning with this all natural cleaner instead of cleaning with like all those harsh chemicals. Drew swears by this. If he gets a sore throat at all, he will take, the, you can also buy this in like a little mini to like put in your bag and take places with you, but he will take the mini version of this and take it and put it in his backpack for work or keep one at his bathroom sink. And if he ever gets a sore throat, um, and also his gums have been hurting him because his wisdom teeth is coming in. Anyway, he will spray that in the back of his throat and it will numb his throat. And then also he said he doesn't have to take like over the counter medicine or anything like that because it helps to heal it. And then with it having the clove in it for his gums, it's been helping to numb his gum where his wisdom tooth com is coming in. So he loves this stuff. And then also, I don't know what cleaner that you can do this with. Like I said, it's very stout because there's clove and cinnamon bark in it. But this is an all-natural cleaner, and you don't have to worry about the harsh chemicals in it. So, this has definitely been a winner in our home for years now. I feel like we're going on five years. Okay, we have the hot glue gun ready to go, or getting ready to go. This that I made two years ago, as, you, as I told you, I barely have been lighting these up. I really want to light them up more this year. But you can see... That's about done. So I'm about to dig this out and dig around it and go ahead and put another wick in here and refill this one back up. Okay, you can see I dug that one out. So we're gonna try to get all this like little black stuff out, empty this in the trash, make a little hole, and then refill this one.
in the essential oils are always make sure that it's not like boiling hot i make sure that the wax cools down some before i add it because it messes with the properties of the oils and so like i said let it cool down a good bit so this is how much that i use out of this one bag to make the big candle and then to finish filling up that little one so again this was $13 and then I think it was 30 or 40 percent off so honestly it probably comes out the same as going and buying a candle in the store cost wise but then you'll always be able to just refill your vases for your candles if you don't decide to change them over each time you can just refill them like I did and so it is a little bit more cost efficient so I'm not sure why that little hole was there but I'm not really worried about it and then also I'll use these little butter knives to make sure that the wick stayed in place because they like to flop over and then you'll just take a little wick trimmer and trim it down um, as far as you can and then they're ready to go. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed Okay, friends, well, that is all for today's video. I hope that y'all enjoyed this little decorate with me in our living room and then enjoyed making that candle with me. I love making those each year, and I was excited to go ahead and restock on some wax so I could hopefully go to some antique stores or thrift stores and make some different ones. Y'all don't forget to comment pumpkin or a pumpkin emoji to be entered in for the giveaway. And then if you're interested in any of that stuff, I have it linked down below with some discount codes for you guys. I hope that y'all have a wonderful start of your fall season. Um, I know that we're really excited to hopefully be getting some cooler weather here soon it's been so hot here so that will be so nice football seasons in and just all the fun little events i'm so excited about my home for the holiday series y'all don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not already i think that we'll be decorating either the dining room or the kitchen next and then i'll have some fun little diys or little treats with y'all that i'm going to be sharing in my upcoming videos i hope that y'all have a wonderful rest of your week and i will see you guys on the very next one god bless and i love you guys so much Walk up the river by my son. Feet step over splinters of the moon.